What I love about pandan leaves is that it's got this very interesting savory and sweet flavor to it. And it's used all over Southeast Asia and China. It looks like a leek, but it's actually in the grass family. And you can find it many Asian markets. So this pandan leaf, if you're looking for it, really looks like a big, big, long leek. I want to say it's almost got sort of a briny vanilla flavor. So it's really an interesting combination. The first place I ever had pandan was when I was in Singapore and I ate it on the street with a soft cooked egg with dark soy, really, really dark soy that almost tastes like balsamic vinegar with a little bit of pepper. It's called kaya toast, which is a coconut jam made from pandan. So you have this very sort of sweet, coconut yet savory flavor and you dip it into the dark soy with the yolk and oh my god it's known as the hangover cure in Singapore absolutely fantastic at street we make a cocktail where we take the pandan we infuse it in a simple syrup of sugar and water and then we use that simple syrup that's got this sort of grassy flavor we make a cocktail with burnt lemon a little bit of vodka a little bit of sparkling water, and it's just, it's again, it's got this sort of sweetness, but it's also sort of savory. I love it in rice puddings also. I infuse it in milk or in coconut milk. You just let it cook slowly in the coconut milk, let it just infuse where the flavor comes out of the pandan, and then you wring the pandan. So you get all this sort of green juice from the pandan that goes into the milk, and then from that milk, you can make all these different pastries, like the rice pudding, like the kaya. You can use it in curries, in a coconut curry with pandan. You can use it in stew. So it's really very versatile in sweet and savory dishes. But truly, if there's anything you're gonna eat it with, you have to try kaya, the coconut jam made with pandan. Even if you're not hungover, try this.